Hey, it's Don, the auction professor. Today, I'm going to show you some things that I've got about $10 into. We're going to show you what we got out of that investment. So if I added up everything I'm going to show you, we've got around $10, $9.75 total into all of it. Let's hop over to the screen now and show you some of the values we got back out of these. Now, before we go into it, none of the items I spent more than a dollar on, obviously, no way it could have added up to $10. Some of these items were pennies, some of them were quarter, 50 cents. This is just a random selection from just this past week. It's not from any stretched out time. Now, if you add up all the items, we took in $813.99 on all of these items, and literally $9.75 I invested in these. Most of these items, most people would think is junk, not worth Worth messing with just wouldn't be worth listing because it's just a tiny piece of paper like this one here is less than two inches across it's just a small little label advertising piece here it did go for twenty dollars to a person who bought two other ones so to that one person I sold sixty dollars worth of items in three different things now here is something I showed you this in a haul not too long ago I took 30 on this I do mark them up who knows what everything is worth couldn't find another one of these. I got several different comments and offers on them before I took that. So the consensus, $30, is a very good price on this. Now here's some Kodak pieces. This was bought in a huge lot of stuff. I only have a few more items left from this purchase here. I took $12.50 on it. Almost nothing into this, if even that. It's just a cheapo item here. I just put them up, leave them, no big deal. Cost me just pennies to list these things. Next one here is a record, the Andrew Sisters Rum and Coca-Cola, which is a very popular, well-known song. It's been in numerous movies. It did sell for $19.99. And again, $9.75 into everything you see here. This is from one of those junk bins you see. I took $15 on this. It's a tiny wooden, probably about, say, three-inch tall bowling pin, basically. Just a little memento. Next one here is a advertising trade card. Somebody's playing baseball in the back scene here. I took $40 on this one here. Now this one's from Sioux City, Iowa, which just doesn't show up very often. At least I don't run into many items from there. So they usually sell for a little more than most of the other ones. Here's a Annette record, Annette and the Afterbeats. This one sold for actually $18.38, as you can see. Now, this one was sold on a sale. Didn't pay a dime to promote it or anything. I just marked down and promoted it from my own side. So, uh, And that's under the marketing tab, too. You don't have to pay a percentage out if it sells that way. This is just through you, where you mark it down and you send out a notice or you announce it through your store that, hey, this is on sale. Now, this is something that was pretty unique. This is made to sit in a box on the top of cigars. Helps keep them fresh. And sometimes you'd see them in an empty box just advertising cigars. It's just a piece of cardboard that looks like cigars are in the box. Rather interesting piece here. I took 40 on this one as well. Nice sale for that. Uh, Santa Claus. I had a bunch of these. I've got literally almost nothing into them. I sold this one and another one for $98.50. I had four Santa Clauses that I got in the same purchase. This is about average for them. I took over $400 from those four cards. You know what I pay for my stuff, so I've got nothing into this. So again, $98.50 on this one. Another fabulous brown coat Santa Claus here. This one went for $98.50 as well. So I took that on both of them. Very happy with the sale on these. So all told, I've made almost $400 from just these few items from one single purchase. So hopefully this is something nobody would pass up looking this nice. Again, it has to be a vintage one. This isn't a reproduction. This isn't something newer. This is literally a Victorian piece here. Now, this is Chuck Berry doing No Money Down. Really good classic. You can hear it on YouTube if you'd like to hear it. We sold this one for $125. This is a Chess 78 record. Really nice one here, in all honesty. It's fairly early, early 50s. Real nice condition also. So, very happy with that one. Here is a roller skating label. This one I sold for $20. i have got another one back down here that I sold at full price for $34.50. I sell these constantly. Let's see here. Now, here's a photo. This is damaged. It has a crease through it. I threw up some crazy price, as you can see up there. 
wasn't sure what I would get out of it. I knew it would go pretty good just because of where it's at and what's going on in the image. And I sold it for $125, and it's going to Seoul, actually. It was bought through eBay's global shipping program. The global shipping program saved me at least once before when something was lost in shipment. The minute it hits eBay, eBay covers the loss of anything at that point. So once eBay scans it in for our location, it's Kentucky. Once it hits Kentucky, I am safe to go from that point on. So anyway, and I've never had one not hit Kentucky ever. And all the time I've done global shipping. So it's a good program, truthfully. I wouldn't have wanted to ship this straight out, in my personal opinion. Not at $125, but really nice image here. Let's move on to the next one. Now, this is just some junk paper. I've got nothing into it, literally, like pennies. I bought a whole bunch of stuff from an attic. It was all dry, just a bunch of old papers. And inside of it was a newspaper. Before we had kids, the wife and I used to go down to Sarasota St. Pete area quite often, altered at 19. We'd stay near Honeymoon Island. Um, there was quite a few places we'd stop and go to. We'd hit Tarpon Springs and the whole works, eat at Pappas's restaurant and a lot of antique stores over there. We'd walk that whole area. So I instantly wanted to get this, whether it was worth something or not, just to look through it. I figured it would be a decent thing, $15 out of that. Now, this is just a scrap, a damaged piece of paper. I don't know if it's a cutout or what. Just the way you see it, it did sell for full price, $27.50. It was up for four hours. So it, it, the image itself is what's important in some of these earlier ones um, that you see here. So you just got to know how to price some of these. The image itself can sell it. For those in Patreon, you're... Your items that you've posted, all those images I'm putting together right now, and in the next day or so, you're going to have a video pricing those. So you can see my methodology and how I price everything that I put up. I don't know how many people would have put this up for $27.50. It's damaged. It's got chunks off the side of it. It's not in the best condition, in all honesty. It does have issues, as you can see. I still sold it for that because of the fabulous image that's on it. It's just a very spectacular image. Again, twenty-seven fifty. Now, this is just some junk jewelry. I got a whole bunch of it, and I had it thrown together in a bag, and I paid one lump sum for it. This is gold-filled, 12-karat gold-filled, so it's better than 10-karat, obviously. It did sell for $13 and some change, just junk, basically, but it's got gold in it, so it might be about what it's worth in gold value for what they paid for it. People do melt these down. I am going to be selling some of mine also. Now, this is a die cut. This one went for $27.50 to somebody who bought a couple other items from us. I think the total was $67 plus postage is what they bought from us dollar-wise. One day, one purchase, quite a few items all together. There's people that collect elephants and dogs and things like that that'll buy from us religiously all the time. So a nice one here. Always great to have multiple purchases from the same person. Let's pop on to the next one. Now, this is a creepy postcard. The girl's holding some large doll here. It looks a little creepy to me anyway. Rather unique, interesting image. It did sell for full price, $34.50 on this one, and off it went. So rather unique, interesting item. And here's the last one is another one of the labels. This one did go for $34.50, full price, right after it was listed, literally within, say, I think nine or ten hours. So anyway, all together, I've got $9.75 invested into it. Roughly $814 I'm taking back out of this. These all sold in the last few days, so I just thought I would shout this out. This is just a random selection of the cheaper items that, that we sold. Just tried to get the last so many. Obviously, we sell items for a lot more money. We pay a lot more for some items. We could spend thousands of dollars on purchases in just one single day and one single hour time frame. It just depends on what we are buying. We don't show everything we sell. We do have other platforms and other stores that we don't share also. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.